Aloha you guys, Coach Spence, Frontline Kickboxing Academy. Today I'm going to share with you guys one hop kendo combination number one. And for all of you guys that are not familiar with one hop kendo, one hop kendo is the fourth evolution of the style called Kaju Kembo. I trained under the founder of one hop kendo Kaju Kembo, his name is Alda Cascos. You can look him up on Google, Alda Cascos. He's the father of action superstar Mark Cascos. Okay, his hand combination number one looks like this. Okay, what's happening? This is a tempo shot, eye shot, tempo shot, solar plexus, throat, and tempo. Okay, uh, my student's gonna come in here. He's gonna go to a left lead position. Okay, and when I throw my my tempo shot, okay, he's gonna go to defend. As he defends, I pull in. It's gonna bring him in. Okay, again, you're gonna see where his head is and you're gonna see where it would open up the eyes. But if he's fast, he's gonna defend. So if he defends this, it opens up the temple again. But what if we're here, he blocks his shot, and he's fast enough to block this other shot. Then I pull it in, and here's the solar plexus. Here's the throat. If he defends the throat, there's the back fist, okay? There's the lock, there's the grind shot, there's the eye poke. If he blocks the eye poke, right there, back into the arm lock, okay? You see the scenario kind of a lot, guys. So you see this temple, eyes, temple, solar plexus, throat, jaw or a tempo shot again this is pertaining to here one two three four five and six if he defends here we're back here if he defends this we're back into that same old thing guys same old thing you see this time and time again so with his hands down what's happening is a shot to the temple a shot to the eyes a shot to the temple a shot to the solar plex a shot to the throat a shot to the temple he could even therefore um come underneath my shot in boxing, you would call it a weave, whatever you want to call it. He's going to evade my shot. And there it is. Here's the eyes, the temple, his throat, hit, boom. Okay. If he chooses to block with his opposite hand, the same thing applies. Now, when he defends, I can come immediately into a lock. I don't need to come into the rest of the shot. Okay. It could be also a, a, a situation where he's in his right lead. And you see this shot right here. And yeah, of course, it's gonna happen the same exact way. That's just the way it was built. But you can take in little bits and pieces, okay? So say you hear one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Four, five, and six. He's gonna defend one, which would be the four. He defends here, and there's a six one. If he defends, he comes back into what? The same arm breaking situation, guys, okay? So it's built to set up your opponent. So if he defends with his left hand, it still works. He defends with his right, it's still gonna work the same way I need it to. If he defends with his right hand, it's the same thing. I'm gonna do what I gotta do, okay? If he goes, if he's in his left lead and he goes underneath the shot, okay? Well, here it is. I'm just gonna pinpoint and pick it off. You becomes the marksman, okay? You train these forms, but ultimately you're the marksman you need to be able to pinpoint these shots. Okay, so one more time. Let's just say if he has a double hand choke on my neck here. Well, I can still hit him in the temple. I can still bring his arm down. I can still poke him in the eye. I can still hit him here. Okay, let's just say if he's in his left lead and he tosses his jab, I can use that hook as a block and then hit again and take what I can. Okay, if he throws his one, two, and I, I go here, boom. There's one two, three, four, five, six. Of course, we're gonna have to make that work because he's gonna wanna defend, right? It's um, obvious, right? So he's gonna come underneath here, one, and he might defend this this two. Well, here we go. Back into here, defends his hand, perfect. I can bring this back, hit here, hit here, hit here. And no matter what he does, there's always an answer, and the answer is the next movement, okay? All right, you guys. You guys have a nice evening. Stay open-minded. Stay humble-hearted. Stay willing and ready to receive instruction at all times. Constantly seek growth. It's extremely important. Once you know it all, there's no, nothing else to learn. Nothing else to learn. You're gonna, you have only downhill to go. You constantly seek growth. There's always more to climb. Beneficial. Win-win situation, right? I'll know you guys.